Let's get into it. Uh. 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 All right. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's happening. You're Peter Shorts. That's him. That's Peter Shorts. That's us. Hey. Area 51. Oh, we're Peter Shorts. Uh, uh, the BBQ, we gotta get our grill back. Uh, I'm like, does the intro... Does it actually say? No. He just wants to grill. Our boy just wants to grill. Shit, I'm not that far from Area 51. Oh, gotcha. Summer so, and together we have to save Peter Shorts, who is us. <laughs> hey Samurai, how you doing? B Mig, what's up? Alright, alright. Skip the opening. We've we've seen it once already. Alright, it's time. So we're Peter Shorts, and we gotta go. I must rescue Peter Shorts. I believe in you, Tomaran. Okay, file one. And we're gonna be going normal, probably. It's Peter Shorts time. The disappearance of Peter Shorts was swiftly covered up. Witnesses were paid off and investigations were suppressed. <gasps> it was all part of the military experiment and the Peter Shorts w and Peter Shorts was the perfect guinea pig due to his incredible DNA. Cloning and modifying Peter's DNA could supply the military with cheap, disposable, and possibly stronger soldiers. Ah. Oh. Thus, the Operation PP was kicked off with Dr. Von Snabel leading the project. Known for his cloning experiments and sadistic nature, Von was granted a large military base to conduct the experiments. Your Shorts was kept isolated in captivity and yearned for the days of grilling and chilling. <gasps> Will Peter Shorts ever make it back home? It might take a miracle. His incredibly simple DNA. Oh. What? What's up? What's up, White? Uh. Oh. Our grill. Oh my god. Our friend just, like, is breaking us out. I'll have to tell people after a bit, White. It's, we're Peter Shorts right now. Woo! He's dropping egg bombs. Uh. Operation PP. How's the volume, everybody? I was, I was the volume. Pretty good, actually. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I'll say, hey, Sasha. Mm. All right. Make it about, maybe about 10% loud. Okay. Okay, how about this? A little bit loud? A little bit better? All right. We're Peter Shorts, and we got to get out of here, because we got, we got a grill. Whoa. Whoa! 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 We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of Area 51. Oh my god! It's our clones! Oh. They gave us a jacket. We've disguised ourselves. Uh oh! Shit! We gotta run! Huh. Release the Peters! Oh my god, there's so many Peters. Oh my god, he has his own Eggman capsule. We flushed the Peters! Peters have been released. Ah. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Peter, fight! Oh. Peter acquired. Okay, we scoop that Peter. 
Snail Peter. Oh. The guy in the bugs, uh, you control them too. Player two controls them directly. I see. Use eggs to jump higher, maybe. I don't know if that's making us jump higher. Okay, we gotta keep moving. This one's like, I'm going to options, uh, game. Our damage, no. Save and exit, maybe? No. Resume. Anyways, oh my god. Don't worry, Sa don't worry, Snail Peter, I'll save you. Whoa! Holy shit, Snail Peter just fucking threw us. Huh. Oh, there we go. Wait, uh, uh, you changed the sideboard art? Yeah, I saw that. That's a big jump. Wow, we can fucking... We can't jump high, but we can jump long. <laughs> uh. But... But yeah, so I've been like... We're Peter Shorts, and we gotta get back to grilling. Disc. Ugh. Peter Data! Peter Data acquired! Which we can access via the museum. Oh. Uh, two Peters in a trench coat. Come on, bug, we gotta get out of here. Oh. 14 discs required to boot. We don't have 14 discs, we have one. Go. Oh. 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 Peter throw. What? Get over here. Getcha. Ah, uh, Zero. How you doing? Who's controlling player two? Player two is just uh just controlled via the computer right now. I guess I control them too, technically. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm double binded right now. I think I might be double binded. Whoa! Am I actually double binded? I think I'm double binded. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm double binded. That's that's interesting though. Snail acquired. There we go. <laughs> it actually doesn't feel wrong though. Oddly enough. Okay, here. I'm gonna see if I can. Get unbinded. I've become double binded somehow. Mm, there we go. Mm. Alright, just one sec. Mm. That's not what happened to me. Uh, gotcha. Alright, here. It's probably just my controller. Uh, sometimes the PlayStation controller likes to come up as two controllers, so I suspect it was probably that. Alright. Okay, let's try this again. Mm. Oh. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, is there a name? Welcome. We gotta get back to grilling. Get us in there. Oh. oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, weapons. Oh no, Peter missiles. Whoa. Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess, I guess Bug got them. 
So a little flying friend here, his name is Bug, and they're very cute. And they're also getting shot by things. Bug is good, agreed. Whoa! I wonder if I could just like, stop those missiles. gonna flip kick a missile maybe oh <gasps> that works oh we can just straight up ride it through oh yeah uh. baby Peter the throw oh my goodness You just got a command grab. Ooh, stomped. What? Well, this is awesome. Yeah. Get over here. Gotcha. There we go. Get him, bug. So we have 299 Peters to collect. A lot of Peters. They really, they really went places with our DNA. Hmm. As one does. Okay, I wonder if I can flip kick it up there. Earn two Peters. That's a lot of Peters. What if I... Oh. What if I flip make it like right here? Oh hell yeah, we did it. But that means we gotta figure out how to flip make these other missiles. Did it! The Peter Horde! We gotta collect those Peters. No. Nice. Baby dunked. has been released. It's multiplying. Actually, it's kind of great because the walls, like, you bounce off them. <laughs> no! Nice, we can throw them together. Multi Peter combo. Kick. Oh my god, Mega Peter. Like Peter. Mm. 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 
computer. Ow, ow. Whoa, Fat Peter. Ooh, did you see that? Ooh. Strip dive kick him. Also, did they call our DNA simple? What the hell? Uh, can we give Beater Blast? Uh. Pylon. Pylon Peter! Got him. Goodbye. Uh. Ow. Simple ain't always bad. Pancakes are simple and delicious. That's true. I have pancakes some of the day. They're excellent. Okay. Whoa! There's so many missiles in this room. That's no place to raise a child. I gotta collect all 299 Peters so we can go barbecue. We're gonna get some wild grilling. There we go. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, it still hit me. Whoa! Double Mecha Peter? Pancakes to die for? Hell yeah. Okay, what's that up there? Mm -hmm. That looks complex. Mm. Oh. oh. Ooh, the stomp. I'm stomp a missile of existence. Dang, absolutely dunked on. <laughs> like if that badge just got missile juggled and it was no longer my problem. 299 cousins, the annual family BBQ. That happens every year starting of the year. Yeah. Miss out on the BBQ. There we go. More Peter data acquired. Save. Good. And we got some kind of coin. Peter currency. Oh my gosh! Oh my 
gosh. Oh my god, the missiles. Ooh. Oh my god, you can fucking- you can command grab the missiles? <gasps> That's sick. Poor bug. Keep being hit by missiles. Whoop! Slipped on a banana peel. Mm. Mm. There's a story where some random dad guy was having a BBQ and sort of had an open invite at a WQ event where people brought their own burgers and BBQ stuff. He's so happy. Oh hell yeah. That's great. Mm. Community BBQ event! Woo! So how would I how how would I grab? What's that do? I think that's like an air dodge? Did it. Computer released. Ooh, the stomp. Nice. There. Alright. live now. Uh. Hey, Infernal, how you doing? Uh. No, it's apparently our origin story because we are Peter Shorts. It's everyone's origin story because we're all Peter Shorts. Child has been sufficiently dunked. Peter Button. What's he doing? This is a button. And we gotta... Uh, we gotta use the button to make the blocks, which then... I don't know what that does for us, actually. I understand. Hmm. I get it. No wall jump. At least not yet. Hmm. Hell yeah. Whoa! Mecha Peter. slowed it down. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah. What's gonna happen uh, to the bee, which could be a coincidence, but still pretty cool. Oh. 
or Bool, apparently. It's very Bool. But that's a big Peter missile. Old B. Whoa! Old B. Okay. Wait, what? What was that? Oh, there we go. We can just headbutt it. Oh no! Oh, spikes instantly kill you. Oh! Figure out the butt controls. Let's see. In. Oh, rough. Instant kill spikes. You gotta be careful of them. Finny. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Oh. Child sufficiently dunked. Bang! How you doing? Go for your child. <laughs> Room into a missile. Nice. Got him. Peter is not spike resistant. The combos I got. Here combos. Don't. Like child, do it. Okay, we gotta be careful with the spikes. Just... I didn't realize there were people. It's too windy for Peter. Oh. You're already a Peter Master, thank you. Okay. Oh, there's so many Peters in here. Whoa! Snail Peter's dangerous. Ultimate defense. Peter data. Jeez. That's a lot of Peters to deal with. Oh, it makes it again if we do that. Whoa. Whoa! That senses out if we tip go into the vent. The data. Oh. 
a little too short. I don't think I can do it from this side. Oh, went up. Maybe I should jump in the bottom row here, that might actually be easier. Oh, that is absolutely easier. I have to do two kicks. Puzzle solving. How many kicks does this require? That's a puzzle. That's a type of puzzle. It's fucking windy. Wrong. You can only kick it two times. What? No! Actually, wait, if I do it over here, I can probably flip it up. Yeah, there we go. That worked. See, I figured it out. How many kicks does it take to get to the center of a uh, <laughs> project, right? I hate when the government abducts me from my grill and uses my DNA to make 299 clones. Ooh, did you see that kick? That's a good one. Okay, we go. No, it's Wimdy. There would be blocks there. <laughs> no! It's heckin' Wimdy. Alright. I can't believe it. Oh my god, he slipped on the banana- oh, he's gone. Peter- Peter took a spill. <laughs> Threw him off the pylon. Oh. There we go. Wait, he's not- he's not done. I guess this is two player too? That's pretty cool. I like the notion that like the second person gets to play bug and you get to scoop up the Peters and I guess lay eggs, which you know, really that's a that's a whole playstyle in itself. I had 299 clones that start war against Oh business class. Yeah.
we've mostly cut this week, though. It's just a matter of putting it all together. Oh, oh! It was, like, perfectly in sync with it, so it was, like, not letting me go up or jump. Oh, you can jump from the top of the button, but you can't jump from the base of the missile. It's just, like, high enough that you can, like, reach from there. Oh my god, no, but... Soldier be all like, there's a banana in the base, we must protect the Peter. <laughs> exactly. Everyone's got Peter's face, that's because they are they were created from our DNA. That the government stole from us. Can't a Peter just have a barbecue in peace? Spill off that. Man, that's tough. There we go. Got it. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Are you liking Peter's Jorts? It's good. We got a lot of Peters in here that we gotta take care of. Whoa. This is a Peter dense zone. Oh my god. But we gotta get in here. Whoa. Oh my god, it sat on the switch. Careful. I'm gonna try and get into the next room. Whoa, it's a secret place. Peter destroyed. That Peter can wait. I'm not gonna mess with that one. Uh, I like how it seems like a love letter to Metroidvania fans, like uh, it ramps up pretty quick and doesn't, uh, uh, baby the player can already have to feel for a game like this, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, why not let the spikes kill them all? Is that bad? Nope, that's, that's fine. I will let the spikes kill them. Okay. Oh. Oh. Metroid gate. Okay. So we have to make our way back then. Yeah. As if someone doesn't understand, it's a platform fighter with inherently simple controls. Yeah, it's like a Metroidvania platform fighter.
Hell yeah. Classic Peter technique of riding the rocket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's Boss Peter. Whoa! Whoa, it's a Super Mecha Peter. Whoa! Oh my god, he's got fireballs. Peter that knows how to spam fireballs. That's a dangerous kind of Peter. Did you see his dodge? Gotcha. Hell yeah. Oh my god. It's us. We're now P Oh my god. We're Peter Shorts now. Fire Peter. Oh my god, we have a fucking we have a fucking BP. Oh my god, we're Peter Shorts. Techniques are open to us now. Oh my god, I can rotate Peters! <gasps> oh my god. So I can be it, I can be whatever Peter is needed at a given moment. That means I can probably go up here. Peters are Kick their butt, Peter Shorts. Yeah. So now this isn't hard. This is just like, just hit it with the DP. Advanced Peter Tech. So we can get that snail. At least my killer got what was coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this hat off. Like it's distracting me from distracting me from Peter Shorts. Oh. Uh, Janie, how you doing? At least you traded, exactly. At least everybody's dead. I'm okay, you? We're great. We're Peter Shorts. And you're also Peter Shorts. Congratulations. We're all Peter Shorts. Um. Um. There we go. Can't possibly get any better, right? Oh my god, so... Wait, you here? So, uh... uh Bubba is you. Peter is you. Uh. Uh. 
Oh, fast fireball. So we do slow fireball and fast fireball. So instead of being over there next to him, I'm gonna just shoot the fireball and he's gonna hit Peter Shorts and then we'll acquire Peter Shorts. Check this shit out. Oh shit, he fucking parried! Oh my god! <laughs> the full parry! Of one! <laughs> oh damn, that snail's smart. But I shouldn't I shouldn't be shouldn't be surprised because that snail is Peter Shorts. Fuck. Oh, let's. Parry this, you casual. Yeah, apparently. Um I got parried, I did. There you go. Unbelievable. I like how when you hold down, uh, Peter gets angry. Maybe that's our parry. Maybe that's how we parry. I wonder if we could parry the fireball back. Got him. He has right idiot. Stupid snail. There we go. Alright. Ah, so we did it. We fired our first Peter. Actually, we've acquired our second Peter, I guess, technically. I didn't know the snails could parry, so that was news to me. <gasps> New ability! What's that? Oh, if you hold up, Peter looks directly at the camera. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta work our way around. We gotta head back. Hmm. Your Honor, there's clearly only one Peter Shorts. According to our stats, we have 38 Peter Shorts. Hmm. All right. We've been collecting Peters left and right. Oh. Yeah, Retro, how you doing? Snail Peter. Ooh. Him with the DP. Gotcha. Almost. Gotcha. There we go. Forty Peters. Doing alright, was playing the hottest new Paper Mario game since 2016 earlier. Color Splash, how's Color Splash going? Need mm, up there. Oh, I've kept. Just short. There. I'm figuring out all the Peter systems, you know? All the Peter mechanics. Oops. We do two kicks. We just need one. There, got it.
Computer data acquired. Extremely good card based combat, like Superstar, uh, but all the rough edges filed off. Writing and presentation is on point so far. Hey, very good. Uh, I like the idea of card based combat. I didn't realize they were card based combat. Yeah. You know, the act of perceiving the player. Oh. Oh, we got something in here. Okay, we got it. We gotta work our way through here really quick. Oh. No. Ah. Pidgey, how you doing? I was one of the few uh, lucky few who got to play Color Splash early when it infamously leaked early to digital pre-orders. Oh, let's see. Got it. You get Fire Peter's super move. Flame Spark. Charge your fire attacks to hurl three arcing flames. This can also melt ice below your feet. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. That's cool. I almost immediately try to use it to start an electrical fire, as one does. Is there Peter over here? Ah, I see, I see something on the radar. Maybe a Peter. That might be a safe point. If I want to be real, I'm not doing well. Ah, gotcha. Moving is stressful. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, I don't know. Take it easy when you can, okay? Okay, so that's those are save points, but it was a save point I hadn't had before. I think. So, if they're flashing, maybe I haven't had got them. Maybe. I got a coin now, though. Heater money. It's pretty cool how everybody has their own currency. It just gets everything for free. Because they're just cool coins that you can swap and trade, right? That's how currencies work, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, doesn't help, uh. Oh, she can use pack instead of play a game. Oh, gotcha. That's not good. was that? Was there a Peter in there that just kicked me in the head? What the hell was that? Not me. Oh, my god. Uh, didn't invest in Peter Coin on Crypto. No! No Peter Coin. No Peter Coin. Just Peter Coins. Where do I want to go? I want to go down this way. Well, I'm open so uh, stuff improves. Itchy. Uh, that's not good though. He shouldn't do that. You're going his normal physical tender back by Peter's word. Yeah. Peter coin is just something he physically produces when um, he hits a save point. Oh, Peter data. Fire Peter. Oh my god, it's like a book. Mm. This is Hotshot Peter. Probably dons a Speedo. Likely due to Peter's love of wrestling. 
Despite his lack of arms, he can deliver a mean kick after spitting fire in your face. He seems to think wrestling has no rules, but he might not be wrong. Fire Peter is fast and powerful. His aerials can boost his speed and his burning knee upper cut is powerful close range finisher. Oh, baby Peter. Oh, Peter Shorts. A mysterious little man with no arms, unaware of his simple but malleable DNA. He looked just like me. Uh, uh, malleable DNA. He lived carefree until uh, secret government agencies captured him, seeking to splice his DNA to create powerful clones. Can Peter escape and return to his grill? Uh, uh, newly cloned Peter, ta uh, taking from the form of a baby. So his cute blank stare, it won't hesitate to take a bite out of you. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, he's our... Oh my god. Yeah. A reptilian Peter, uh, resembling a Komodo dragon, it's said to have distant links to Bird Peter. He's our, uh, resides comfortably in the facility's warm botanical garden. It can use its body heat to produce fireballs and its large tail to smack opponents. Whoa! Lanky Peter. Oh, I don't like Lanky Peter. Lanky Peter was created as an attempt to give Peter a pair of humanoid arms. Despite initial success, Lanky Peter was not considered for combat due to his weak limbs and awkward appearance. Despite his shortcomings, Lanky Peter is fairly agile and can deliver strong slashes with his overgrown nails. He should not be underestimated. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter database. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Oh. Long Peter scares me. Don't worry. Uh, need 10 discs. Need more Peter data. Whoa. Whoa! Uh. 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 Whoa! There we go. Three different types of Peters. Let's do this. Two Peters. Our Peters get the Belmont uh, down air. Uh, and he's got a full, full like set of moves. He's got a fireball. He's got a dive kick. He's got his um. Oh, what the hell's that? Egg. Um. What else he got? He's got um. Yeah, you double double tap up and you can pick an ability. Interesting. Huh. I turned everything purple. Mm, egg goo. Wow, I just kicked that bat to the moon. Collecting all these Peters. Whoa! <gasps> it's Long Peter. Did y'all see him? Oh. 
do not like Long Peter. Whoa! Don't worry, I'll take care of him. <laughs> Holy shit, does he have, like... That's a, that's a good kick. Nice. Long Peter taken care of. Oh, shell. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Juggle. Holy shit, snail combos! Holy shit, let's back this up. That's what I also crawl around like that. That's wild. Oh, oh full parry. Okay, this is it. Nothing's tougher than a cornered snail, apparently. Just a funny little guy. Only some kind of creature. Le creature. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Mood. Same. Whoa! Overall's Peter. <gasps> we need that Peter. They, why did they make the babies have teeth? It's fucked up. Le creature. That's just like me. That's how I feel. <laughs> nice. Oh. We need some kind of electrical theater. Ah. Oh, this is the other side of that one spot that took it took us to that place. I remember it well. Like it was yesterday. Which really says something because that was only like 20 minutes ago. Child demolished. Oh, cool. Spikes. We gotta be careful. Oh, we can deal with ice because we have we have Peter's like super move. Stay melted. Does. It's like the weirdest Metroid 2 remake. Oh. oh. I can probably get it from... get it maybe a little bit. Oh! Stag Beetle! Stag Beetle Peter! Whoa!
Ooh, kicked. Uh. Hey, Dilly, how you doing? Whoa, Magical Peter. Whoa, Long Peter, let's get out of here. Whoa. Nice. Stag beater. Oh god, long beater. Wait for him. Get him with the Oki. Nice! Did you see that? Sick bounce. Ah. Ah. Oh. Snail Peter. Go. Oh. Whoa! What are these? Oh my god, Frog Peters! zone. down. I think you're still in bug command mode in the blue background. Yeah, I don't know how you stop that. How do you stop commanding bug? Yeah, like, because he moves about the same way we do, doesn't he? Me neither. Don't know. Why wouldn't we want to be in bug command mode? Seems like a good time. Check the controls. Options, controls. Up, down, left, right. Shoulder buttons, select button, test. Hmm. I mean, that seems, seems about right. Which is your beaters. Trolls are not particularly complicated in this game. Up and up and button. Hmm. Egg. Okay. Oh, maybe if we get all the Peters in an area, we get a coin. Maybe that's how that works. And then what's LNR that also rotates your Peters? All three of those buttons rotate Peters. Uh oh. Propeller cap Peters. Go. <laughs> Bringing the snail into the fight for some reason. Which is definitely not a good idea. Snail released. There we go. Oh, jeez, 
for getting juggled. child just ran up and bit me. That's fucked up. There. There. A small child, which was also me. These are just like that, it's true. All I found out is that double tapping up while standing will bring up a bug command. Yeah. yeah the, I, doesn't seem like it stops the bug command, though. Have I been in here before? Maybe... this map's a little hard to read. Yeah, this is an electrical room. We need to find an electrical Peter. Uh -oh. Whoa! Snail zone! No! Man, those spikes are dangerous. What year is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Up we go. Double tap up? I thought that was just one tap. No, just one tap just makes you face the camera. Double tap up brings up the thing. Oh, okay. There we go. I guess maybe maybe it was just stuck on for some reason. I'm pretty good at breaking things, so. Oh. Yeah, snail. Snail hell. I'm suddenly reminded of that, like, thing about what if there was a snail that just endlessly followed you, but it would kill you if it found you, and I'm like, the snail would kill me. I could handle the snail. Hmm. I'm like, I've handled things worse than a death snail in my life, probably. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm with like balcony. Knee. Oh jeez. by Peters. Mm. Very good. What? Child. Gotcha. Nice. So if it isn't already obvious, the control scheme in this game is really cool. <laughs> Combat feels really full, flushed out. Um, the platforming's a little like tricky, but like overall, I mean, you get to you get to fucking falcon eat whenever you want. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we're 
back to the electrical room. Mm -hmm. I wish the map told me more about what we were... Where things are. Why? It's white here. Child's trying to send me to the snail room. Not today. White. Okay, I just wanted to check to make sure you were here. Because White wanted me to bring up earlier. So last night, uh, me and White watched some movies. And she got me to watch... Um, uh, she's been wanting me to watch... Uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. So we watched that. And... That movie, that movie has all kinds of stuff going on. Abe, Abe parries a horse and then rides it, and I'm like, wow, I've never seen, I've never seen a horse parry. It was, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. There's a horse parry. We're almost there. There we go. There we go. And, I mean, like, honestly, it's pretty much the best documentary I've seen in the last little bit. So, now I learned so much about American history. There we go. Oh, nice. I only capture how exciting she ended up being about that movie. I mean, well, I mean, what else is there to say? It's, it's Abraham Lincoln, and he's a vampire hunter, and also maybe a Belmont? Question mark. Kind of like a Belmont. Uh. But I feel like they got the ending wrong. So I came up with my own ending, which is basically the. I'm like, I'm like, how can they end it like right here? This is a silly spot to end it, because like obviously, obviously, like. You gotta leave it open for a sequel. You can't just have him go to like a theater and just like end it right there. But, okay, there we go. I'm like, nah, that ain't what happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, some kind of fan. Fan. Oh. There we go. Uh, fuck! Oh, we made it. Whoa, we're in the banana zone! Practice your parries. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Anyways, it's what I think. Here's how I think the movie should have ended. Yes, please explain the, cla the class how the movie should have ended. Well, what I think is Abraham Lincoln should have went to the theater, and then when, like, uh, John Wilkes Booth shows up, like, he goes to take the shot, and Abraham, like, parries him, and then, like, disarms him and throws him onto the stage. And that's when he becomes a vampire. And then Abraham Lincoln flips onto the stage, and all the actors were also vampires. And, uh, John Wilkes Booth is like, you know, he's like, I thought you were done vampire hunting. And Abraham Lincoln is gonna be like, what? I'm done vampire hunting, but I'm absolutely crazy about it. And then he like pulls a dual like gun hatchets and spins them in his hands and kills a bunch of vampires. Roll credits. There you go. Better ending. Because he lost his axe at one point. And the only thing you can do with that is that is that you have to like, it doesn't matter though, because they're both silver bullets. So it would have worked on both. But like, he lost his big axe, so he has to have dual hatchets now. Dual hatchet revolvers. Yeah. There you go. Better ending for the movie. It leaves it open for a sequel. Easy. See, I could write a great documentary. Mm. What am I doing here? Oh, flower spin. 
Anyway, so we watched that, and we also watched uh, Grabbers, which um, we decided was uh, apparently, um, apparently, um, uh, Tremors by the Sea. Yeah, Grabbers. It's, it's, it's Irish Tremors, apparently. Apple. Apple. Apple Peter. Whoa! Oh my god! It's Tiger Peter! What? Tiger Peter! Yeah. It's exactly Irish Tremors, it is! Yeah. Chibi, how you doing? Flip kicks. Oh, like that, Peter. Whoa, it's Pete's Yeah, go watch Grabbers at some point. Yeah, it's it's like it's a it's a chill watch. It has a lot of it has a lot of Tremors energy and some of the cramps. Oh, gotcha. Uh -huh. Well, you take it easy and uh, vibe with us while we collect Peters. I gotta collect all the Peters. Because I am Peter Shorts, and you are Peter Shorts, and we're all Peter Shorts. Yeah, and we gotta get back to our BBQ. Hey, God, I have a question that has nothing to do with anything uh, that has been discussed so far. Tremors is so good, right? Tremors is like just the perfect like vibe movie. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Is it weird that the last two big sci-fi things I played revolved around art? Around some part around a company becoming globally dominant by monopolizing a fantastical new powerful technology that would eventually lead to the end of humanity. Maybe? maybe? I've learned that I am Peter Shorts. I know, right? Mm. I didn't know that until today that uh, I'm Peter Shorts and you're Peter Shorts and we're all Peter Shorts. Terminus is, yeah, Terminus is just really fun. And it's like, it's one of the. I can't say it's like the movie I- I don't know if it's- I don't know what movie I would have watched the most, but it's definitely up there. Because it's just like- it's a movie that you can just have on in the background really easy. Plus they put it on TV all the time, back- back like ages ago. There we go. Snail- Snail Peter acquired. Oh my god! No! There was a good idea there. Oh no, the tomato is squishy. No! I gotta get the tomato over there so I can get the apple peter. Yeah, it kind of feels like a common sci-fi trope. His company's always doing shit like that. I mean it. Whoa, did you see that kick? Oh my god, that was that was good. What? Is it going with us? We've acquired this apple guy. Hmm. Okay. Do I have to put him on the vine, maybe? What do we do with Apple Peter? Apple Peter is hiding from us. He likes you, he does. Why? What is the secret of Apple Peter? Well, oh, oh, I have a banana peel. Ah. Yeah, well, I haven't been to this section yet. Ah. It seems common, but it's weird that both me and the Crisis franchise and Exoprimal do lean heavily on this. Company has become a megacorp specifically because they found a supposedly infinite power supply. They're gonna kill us unless we stop them. Uh -huh. right. It feels, yeah. I think it's, I think it's a, it's a warning. We gotta watch out. We gotta destroy companies. I think that's, I think, yeah, this also describes Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I think it's a pretty common uh, sci-fi trope. We gotta destroy Shinra. Come on, team. Let's let's go. Yeah. 
Okay, so I don't know what we do with Apple Peter. Hmm. Okay. We went up there, but I couldn't really go any farther, could I? We need a Peter that's wind resistant. Wait, 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 wait. What's this vent? Uh, ow. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's just if you don't want to, like, let the flower, like, go down. Let's do this door. Right. Oh, it eats the apple! It releases Komodo, Peter. Peter. Oh my god, and Beetle Peter. I guess it would be more like Peetle. takes after me, slipped on the banana peel twice. Gotcha. There we go. Okay, blue apple acquired. Can we be real? Those just look like a tiger and a beetle. How are they Peter? I don't know, like... kind of looked a little bit like this. I'm pretty sure these doors are Peter's, too. Oh! Frog Peter! Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes genetics are like that. You don't necessarily look. I wonder if I could get some of these tomatoes down there. Get that like way over there. Mm. That didn't quite work. Ah, mm. uh, that's not good. Okay, I grew a second tomato, so that's good. really good at stacking them, but not much else. Just 
build. Whoa, that was really close. Tomato puzzle solved. Ah, oh, buds. Ah, oh, that's absolutely not where that should have went. Whoa, we almost didn't make it. So close. Uh. Oh, green apple. Green apple, Peter. All the power of Peter fused with a green apple. Who needs a third tomato? Yeah, I don't need a third tomato. I wonder if... It's too high up. I need, I need a double jump, Peter. That's a double kick, Peter. Double Peter kick. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh hell yeah. Oh, the save point's right here. Good. Whoa! Shit! Oh god! squared, we do. There we go. Oh, our Peter and Beetle Peter. See, like, I feel like this, the beetle, like, it... I mean, if Peter was a beetle, he'd look like that. Oh, oh my god. They're trapped in here with me. I mean, like, just look at the way it slips on a banana. This is like us. But, ow. But, anyways, so, yeah, I mean, I've just been watching, like, a bunch of movies. I think we both felt like something a little bit lighter last night, so we watched, uh, uh Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, and, um, Grabbers. Grab us. Oh, I need, uh, whoa! I need to get the tomato up. Oh. Just throw the banana on onto it. Oops. Never mind. Does mean that you like my suggestion? Unless you knew about it beforehand, but still right. Yeah, no, we added it to the list. Um, I wanted to add like, um, add people's suggestions onto it. Mm. It was good. Yeah, like I said, it very similar like scratches a similar itch to um, Tremors, which I mean like, Tremors is great.
Is that like... I don't think that hurts it, it just flips it up. I gotta protect the tomato, you see. Oh, it does hurt it. Never mind. Ugh. Oh, it's a very squished tomato at this point. Ah, oh, bullets. Yeah. It looks like Commodore 64 character. I guess it's fair. Sometimes the person just looks like a Commodore 64 character. Have a cat, how's things going? But, oh, but keep destroying the tomato. I wonder if the banana would work. It's me when I first wake up in the morning. Destroying a tomato? Mm. That's a pretty cool way to start each morning. Mm. But it just like Falcon need that tomato into the abyss. Into the afterlife. Oh, looking like a 64 character. Mood. Maybe I need to just, like, huck it with my crane crab. Ugh. Not quite high enough. But, it does look like it. Oh my god, it's still alive somehow. It, but it's just not quite in the right place. Ah, oh, but okay. Okay, we gotta move. We gotta move the tomato with our teeth. That much is obvious. What character has a kick like that? A weird, like little, like flip kick like that. It's familiar to me, but I can't place it up, out of, like off the top of my head. What? But the banana by itself would probably work too. Oh. We're stuck in the flower zone. A Smash Fighter? Shrek? Mm, I don't know if Shrek is from Smash. This is Peach. Maybe. Mm, I don't think Peach has anything quite like that. Oh, she. <laughs> uh, yes. Sheik does have something like that, I think. gonna slip on this banana. But... Um... There we go. I want to see a video of Princess <laughs> Zelda turning into Shrek. Probably exists. Those damn bananas, right? Okay, this is looking good though this time. We're all we're all set. What? No! There we go. Nice. Apple acquired! The secret was to move the tomato with our teeth. Should have been obvious. Mm. I mean, how else are you supposed to move a tomato? Those teeth to work. Oh my god! I guess like oh, I saw this one so I could get it. I could get the get the post for it. Um, do y'all see? I put it in. I put in a uh, general in the Discord. Oh my god! I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Teeth drug. We can regrow our teeth. Yeah. Are y'all excited? I'm just gonna like. 
Like, if it's a cream, I'm just gonna, like, use it as, like, my daily, like, like, face cream. Uh. Sparky, how you doing? Whoa, huh? I need that, right? Uh. I did say that earlier. Yeah. I'm gonna use it as a face cream. So then, like... Uh. Yeah, like, I'll, like... My like, I'll get to see my friends, and my friends will be like, "How's things going now?" I'll be like, "Things are going great." Uh, and and they're like, "Did you get a haircut?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah. Uh, oh, I tripped into it tonight. Perfect timing. Oh, gotcha. Oh no. <laughs> Calcium. Nope. 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 What? Uh, can I have a little bit? Can I just fix the teeth that I got then? Mm. Covered in luxury bone. It's called armor. Oh yeah, sure. Everybody wants a defense buff until they find out like that you're covered in teeth. Okay, do you still have an opening for Splatoon on Sunday? Yeah, probably. Uh, it's basically first come first serve, but um, yeah. Uh, like if you're free on Sunday, like swing by and we'll probably get you in. Yeah, I, I need some, like, dental work. Oh my god, the baby slipped. Oh no, the baby. The baby, the baby! Oh, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, we'll see about getting you in. Oh. Yeah, because we're going to be playing Splatoon Sizzle Season on, uh, Sunday. See that? I defeated the child by throwing a banana at it. As one does. Mm. Yeah. I was like, hey Nelly, how you doing? It's great, but the skincare routine bites. <laughs> skincare routine bites? Oh my god. No. First day I'm busy moving your place, too. There we go. Mm. Ah, no worries. I'll be playing it probably over the next month. Showing something on the wall. It conveys something to me. I mean, it was great. We watched, we watched no anime. Oh, perfect. How did it go? What, what animes did you not watch? I need to get a tomato on that. But, but, but. Uh, Iron Giant. Oh my goodness, those are both movies we considered watching last night. Um, the me and White were watching. Hmm. Yeah. My uh, my anime instructor, or my anime instructor, my uh, animation instructor worked on uh, uh, Iron Giant. He's like the most chill person in the world. He's so. Tomatoes not going up there. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Look at that. Like a pro. Huh. Yeah. Your modes are so cute. Ah, thank you. Oh my God, Peter Boss. Boss Peter detected. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, it's it's Airman Peter. Oh. oh my god, it reflects my fireballs upwards. Oh, did you 
see that? Not ready for these moves. No one can handle the Peter Stomp. Definitely not Peter. handle this. Ooh, did you see that? I charged up my fireballs and then gave him a kiss. Hmm. That's that's who has that. It's it's Kirby. It's a Kirby move. I was wondering who had that. I was thinking. I should have recognized it. My old Smash partner played Kirby. Uh, Wind Peter. Actually, who, do, who does Wind Peter play like? Okay, we got a like downward like spike. Uh, okay, we got a little spin when we go up. That's oh, that's kind of cool actually. And I think that acts as a double jump. It does. And we can fly upwards. Wimdy Peter. Now uh, we're Airman Peter. We can spin a little tornado. And also bite. Oh, we can do it, like, fast, too. That's cool. Hermit crab. Oh, there was a gift! Mm. Oh, what did you give me, paper? Oh! Oh! Mm. Pokemon hat. It's Ash's hat. This will help me catch all the Peters. Yeah, I gotta catch them all. Petermon. Where is it? There we go. Uh, yeah. uh, is it appropriate for peer hunting? It is! Alright. What time is it? Just upwards, but I don't think that's really what I'm looking for. Neither of those moves look like what we're looking for. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can, like, put a tornado upwards. On a tornado, can I do it? Yeah, okay, that's what we have to do. So, we, yeah, Peter brain damage. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we have to ride a tornado to throw a tornado. Oh my god. Is there some frog, Peter? Oh, we're in. Got it. There we go. So 
We need to go up. Oh! Ah! Peter's own. Mm. I did this, but I'm not quite sure how I did it. Tex, how you doing? Damn, those spikes, those are bad for Peter. Mm. How's things going here? Yeah, one premium, yeah. 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 Here we go down the hole. Noctis, welcome. Mm. Yeah. Also, if I didn't say, hey, Lycander, how you doing? Mm. Uh, what genre is this? is this? This is a Metroidvania. Uh, it's, it's Peter Shorts. Well-known video game character, Peter Shorts, is back, and we are Peter Shorts. You doing alright? Always kind of lurking? Hey, no, that's totally fine. That's totally legit. It's a Peter-like. See that? But it made it up. Ow, how do we go up higher? Uh, Petervania. Tornado, I think. Which we're then gonna like bounce on. Hmm. What a complex thing. Yeah. Maybe on sure. Hey, that's fair. Yeah. But if it's too fast, I'll do go up. Can I just spin my way up? Am I overthinking it? I can go up a little bit, but not like a lot. Maybe, maybe the trick is, is I have to... Oh, maybe and then I go... Oh yeah, that's, that's the stuff right there. But it's a Metroidvania Peter like. Um, and you have Smash Combat, and it's cool. It plays a lot like Smash Brothers. Uh, no 
Oh, that's so close. Oh, nice, we did it. Hell yeah. Oh. Into the vent zone. Whoa! Day child. Oh. Fire creator won't fail. Uh -oh. Ow. The fans keep buzzing me. Uh. As that Peter's down. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's kind of like Guacamelee. That's actually a really good comparison. What? This is actually kind of hard to deal with. And made it. Oh my god, we're finally out. You gotta be careful about when the snail get, uh, the snail gets close to a wall. We got a mad corner game. Gotcha. Get rotated, idiot. Yeah, exactly. Where the hell am I? Okay, we gotta flip the tomato. Good. I keep getting buzzed by the fans, which isn't good. But... We can do it, we can do it. It's not quite enough. Oh. Oh my goodness, I made it anyways. Damn. That kid had nothing. Sideways one seems to go faster if you just tap it quick, but the vertical one's different somehow. You can't charge the vertical one.
Whoa. Wow. Okay, you can get a lot of height off. Just, just that. But, but it's so windy. We're in the wind zone. Oh, I did it. Now I just have to get the tomato down. Down. No. Uh oh. I did it. Yo! You got Wind Peter's super move, Tornado! Charge a twister attack and unleash a massive tornado. Remember, Wind Peter flies higher when spinning. Oh yeah. Big win for Wind Peter. There was a, yeah, there was a floppy over there. We should get that. I don't want to be here. I I have regrets. But release me! Yeah. Okay. So let's try this one. Actually, we didn't even get to see a super move. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa! Oh, that'll definitely give us height. There was just grillin' chillin'. Oh, wait, what? Nah, explosive. So is there any story, or is the title all that's needed to know? Peter was just grilling and chilling when the government took him to Area 51 to try and make clones of him because uh, he's so cool and powerful. It's true. Yeah. Because his simple and malleable DNA... Valuable DNA. Oh, okay. Disc. Oh my God, Beetle Peter. Beetle. Right, right now as the story is Beetle. Uh, the strange result of an experiment attempting to give Peter a defensive exoskeleton. Unfortunately, Vaughn spliced too much beetle DNA and ended up with this weirdo. Beetle's horn can send opponents skyward, or he can spin like a drill to quickly deal damage. Uh, he can also fly, but this, uh, but his strengths end there. His exoskeleton doesn't even help his defense. Poor guy. Damn. That's rough. Hmm. Beetles, let's go! It's so cute, right? We gotta get it up here now. Damn, the super is really good though. Like, you get a lot of height out of that. I have 97 beaters. We're out. Yeah. So my book Sona is. Oh hell yeah. I love Rhinoceros Beetles. It's like uh, Don Killing Era Mario Mario in Mega Man Vania. But <laughs> not right. Okay. But Hell yeah! Frog keeps keeps its tongue game. It's too strong. 
Oh, still don't have banana peel. Oh. Frog acquired. There. Hmm. We gotta get out of here. Ah, Sandy, how you doing? Okay, let's get out of this section. Many Peters were acquired, but we need to get out of here now. Wait, how do we get out of here? Whoa! Child. Ooh, did you see that? Just, just clobbered it with the falcon knee. Like a thing, it's feeling down a lot better than most retro-inspired uh, Epic games. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Und Undidev, the creator of this, um, also made a game called Trash Bashers, and Trash Bashers is really, really, really fun. Um, I really liked it. Well, I bet I could throw the tornado through there to free the tornado. Never mind. I guess that's not how you solve this puzzle. <laughs> Kind of wall penetrating Peter. Shit, I gotta get out of here. End up in this section, it's really this is a dense section. I hope at the end you uh, get to chill out uh, with all the Peters you've collected. Yeah, same. Agreed. Ah, oh, hydrate. Oh my goodness, I miss Code Red. It was really good. But White's been telling me, she's like, you could just make Code Red with Mountain Dew and like, Kool Aid mix. And, uh, honestly, drinking it now, I could kind of believe it. I could see it. Oh. Oh no, I got the tomato. Whoa, be careful what I'm doing. I was expecting this to be a Debian. No. There we go. Uh, who was the dev behind Gato Roboto? Um, how do you get out of this area? I'm, I'm really puzzled. Um, that was. Just a sec. I gotta look it up now. Doing soft. There we go. Is what said. Have have a very particular name. Trespassers is Trespassers a scary game. Um, kind of. It's meant to be that you're capturing monsters, but I wouldn't really call it scary per se. Favorite thing right now is Coke with uh, black cherry, Neo Energy. It's just perfect. Neo's the perfect cherry uh, cold taste. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, this lets me go down through the wind. Okay. See, didn't know that. I was wondering about that. Okay. Hmm. I should try that. Whoa! Whoa! Peter dead. If I quit, does it count as a death? Okay, we're back into this room. Great. Fire Peter didn't seem to struggle with this quite as much. I see why. It pulls him forward a little bit when he does that. Okay, so... If, if when Peter can go down through... Peter can't go through things, so. I'm supposed to get out of here. Oh, a gift. Another gift. Oh, bill. There we go. There. The 
button has been hit. Come on, Peter, you gotta get up. Can I take this one? I've never taken the one that's just directly above it. Probably an intentional smash reference. I would, I would believe it. Ow! Whoa! Where's this go? Oh, it takes us in here. Interesting. Oh, I did this backwards thing, kind of. What if I use this to go up? Oh, it's just that. Okay. Okay. Exit. That just takes me back here, though. How did I get out of this area? Now I'm confused. It's through the boss room, maybe? I am so puzzled right now. Admittedly, I have a hard time reading this map. Looks like I can maybe go down, but... You drop down through that. Oh, I didn't jump, drop down through these ones. Oh, they're slightly thinner. I didn't put two and two together there. These ones when you drop down through, these ones you can't. I thought these were the same thing. Duh. All right, uh, I think we got a thing. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Saturn. Actually, no, it's Tomran. Thank you, Tomran. Yo! Oh, he's there. He's hiding behind the hat. E. 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 Okay, I think we did pretty good there. Another button. Oh. What's that? There's a disc in there. We're at 101 Peters. I remember that movie. Whoa! Long Peter! What are you doing down here? See that? He parried one of those fireballs. The wonderful 101 Peters. Uh. Oh yeah, this is a different area right here. The ice zone.
Which, it's interesting too, because like, this actually does kind of feel really similar to Trash Bashers. Trash Bashers is about collecting monsters, like, like cryptids. Uh, and you basically have to, like, they want you to fight, like, every enemy in the game. And this is kind of like that too, except you're collecting Peters, which aren't monsters, they're Peter. So I guess it's nothing like Trash Bashers. Oh. Cryostasis Peter. There can be a monster if you believe. There might be a monster, Peter. Oh, Penguin Peter! Mr. Saturn's a Peter. Peter Dactyl. Is Mr. Siren's first name Peter Saturn? <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna rot something. Uh, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it's probably, probably likely. Anyway, so this game's great. Oh. The wind is it windy? Is. Oh, not quite enough. Oh. Never mind, that didn't work. What? Oh, penguins can go in there, but not me. funny because I think the concept of like collecting all the enemies as like a thing in a game I can't think of many games that uh, do that and I think it's pretty cool mm. and 
I like that the dev just kind of has, like, it's kind of their MO at this point. Whoa, 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 that was really close. Almost, almost. Hmm, okay, I don't to break on the spikes. What am I doing? That's a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. So we need, we would have to... It's not... I'll mm, we'll come back to that one. It seems... suspicious. Luigi, yeah, like Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, there's not like a lot of games out there that are quite like that. I like it, it's a cool idea. that thing. How would I get up that? That hurt a little bit, but I got it. You get Ice Peter's super move, freeze spell, charge your ice attacks to cast a freezing spell, try it against opponents and objects. I got it before I was supposed to. Hell yeah. Should play Luigi's Mansion 3. I never, I never did really pick it up. But I heard really good things about it. I heard it's really solid. Ah, oh, Peter Dacko. Oh, what's this? No. Dactyl data. Uh, Peter Dactyl! Another attempt at resurrecting ancient animals through Peter's DNA. The Peridactyl. Was... Oh my god, they got me. Uh, I guess it would be like. No, this Terra. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah, the Pterodactyl was a perfect fit due to Peter's DNA having similarities to birds and reptiles. Peter Dactyl has the unique ability to breathe fire, oh, ice, and freeze its opponents. Uh, uh, the P is silent. I know, but when you're saying it's not silent in Peter. Maybe the second T is silent. It could be, I suppose. Every letter is silent. Secret Peter. Oh. oh my god. Let's oh. get the advantage. Oh my god! Peter Llamas! Oh my god! They're great! Uh oh, they melt ice. Oh my 
goodness. Whoa. I was worried about that for a second. Uh, so, circle back around here. Looks like the ice area is a little bit easier than the wind area. But wind area gives you, like, the benefit of wind, which seems like a good benefit to have. Oh. Oh, three different types of Peters from three three different eras. Actually, wait, they're, these are all living animals. Never mind. Okay, I like the llama Peter. That's a good Peter right there. Ooh, what eras? This one. <laughs> oh, what's that mean? Oh my god. Boss Peter. Oh my god. Gotta get rid of his advantage of ice. Stand a chance. Oh, whoa. Whoa, he's got fucking ice knives. Not as good as this. Unfortunately, that's all he has is ice knives. Fire is his weakness. I don't know if he, I don't know if Peter's head weaknesses. Hooray! We now have the power of Ice Peter. Oh. Ice knife. I think this isn't running on Pokemon or Mega Man rules. Okay, how you doing? So this Peter can build staircases. Which coincidentally is also kind of um oh. Does it not work if it hits a wall or is it just like if there's three of them it doesn't work? Uh, it doesn't work if it hits a wall. Okay. But you know what's better than that? Ice King Peter, yeah. They fuse him with Ice King's DNA. There we 
go. Put it in a circle. I don't know what these glowing dots mean. Like, they're probably something good. Shiggity, how you doing? Yeah. Ice Peter Rat Paddler. Yeah. Oh. oh. Two missing Peters. Oh my god, two more missing Peters. Oh my god. Anyway. Whoa. You gotta be careful about the spikes. God. Ooh, there it is. Ah. There we go. Go. Daisy start lusting for princesses. Basically never. Peter has one love, and that is the barbecue. The grill. The grill and chill. That is Peter's one one and only love. And all, all 299 of his children. There we go. Ooh, there it is. Princess. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, there's two more of them. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool attack. Jeez, I wasn't even thinking about trying to fight with Ice Peter. Back to a save point very quick. Oh. Hmm. So how is everyone doing? I know I've been very like focused on on Peter's shorts and our our important mission to get out of Area 51. Peter Data, it's Ice Peter Data. Doing all right? Um, aw, good. Uh, Peter's mystical alter ego, created from his love of fantasy films. Peter dons a robe to cast icy spells from, including ice blades he can use uh, as makeshift stairs. This form also grants Peter some claws, but. His feet are now mysteriously hidden. Uh, ice Peter can also freeze opponents, allowing him to stand on them and continuously pierce them with icicles. Uh, sounds intense. Is that Area 69? No. 
Area 51. Maybe if we, we get out of Area 51, we can go to Area 69. I don't know if there's a Ninja Peter yet. There's gotta be a Ninja Peter. I'm driving. I want to do something, but I can't pin him down. Ah, oh, gotcha. I see, I see. That happens. That's a mood. So we need to we need to get back to a save point. Oh, that looks pretty intense. straightforward one. Oh my god! I'm a Peter Data. Oh, Peter! Oh. I have made a mistake. It was not a llama. It was an alpaca. Uh, mammalian Peter created with splice alpaca DNA. Despite its goofy appearance, this alpaca-based Peter is a serious threat due to its ability to start fires with its highly flammable tar-like spit. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure alpacas do that. I once released all the pack alpacas from the zoo. It was, um, I'm not welcome back in the zoo. Uh, it primarily uses its neck for combat, although its stubby legs can kick surprisingly fast. It's among the strongest mammalian peters and a very dangerous opponent. That makes sense. All the different elemental feeders. We have uh, fire and wind and ice. Whoa. Wow. Goodbye. human children does an alpaca peter need to consume so its hunger for flesh is sated? We don't know yet. Uh, which is why we gotta get grilling. That reminds me of this alpaca game that was kind of big on mobile phones ages ago. Oh? Tell me more. I like alpacas. Oh, mom wanted an alpaca. It's like, they have room for one. I could have an alpaca. And I'm like, oh. We don't really have room for one, but it's a nice thought. <laughs> there's like a, there's like a local listing of somebody like giving away alpacas. Right, I've been here before. We need- we definitely need to get to a safe point, though. Hmm. That's a dangerous place to go. It's dangerous, but it looks like there's stuff there, too. Hmm. 
tell me I need, like, Ice Peter for this, but I'm like, I don't believe that. I need to breed a uh, medium dog size alpaca. Alpaca evolution. That's the one. Oh. What did the alpacas evolve into? The only alpaca game I can think of is alpaca soccer. Oh, spiked. But we got two safe points. Okay, we're making a big circle now. So... I guess these are just like all items that are around, but not necessarily specific, like specifying what the items are. Is there like a Digimon game? I don't play that. Oh, I know what game you're talking about. That game's weird. <laughs> It's like, it's like a meme game. Them's Fighting Herds. Yes, Them's Fighting Herds is really good. I like that game. I really, really should play it more, because it's, it's actually quite solid. I also played the pack in it, because the pack was good. Oh, don't, don't spike the fan, I guess. Whoa! We're in the dust spin! I wonder if I just, like, used our ice. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it's working so well. Oh, I wonder if I can freeze the fans. You can absolutely freeze the fans. Hell yeah. I'm such a genius. Oh. Okay, after we pop the switch in this area, I'm gonna switch to the Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, it's not quite... Not quite gonna reach. Ah, uh, that's, that's a floppy that's in the room. Death spin. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Like, oh. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. We gotta go like this, and then we freeze a platform, and then we go. Uh, oh, it doesn't quite charge fast enough. So close. Ah. We could absolutely reach that, but I don't know if we could like get over there and actually do something about it because they unfreeze pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, like we can't even like get up there. It's pretty close though to just sliding in there. I just need to, like... Oh! oh dive kick! Oh. I'm spinning! But... It doesn't quite get us in there. I wonder if it's, like, an angle thing, if we could, like, slide in there. 
paper gun and something else. What do you get me? Oh. Oh! Photorealistic. Very good. I have so many, so many things on my head right now. It's a visual novel where one guy falls in love with a girl whose appearance is that of an alpaca, but only he can see her that way. Physically, she's normal to everyone else. Hmm. I see. I bet anything we could do that. I bet it's just like a matter of spacing. I'm pretty close to just doing it that way. Oh, it's so close. Feels doable, you know. Oh my god, we actually just made it. Oh, Peter Data. But what was it? Peguin! A cruel mockery of Peter's dream to fly like a bird. Don't worry, Peguin. You're still immune to slippery ice. Mm. Peter's got an important dream. We gotta fulfill. Oh my god, you can kick the icicles? I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so I did get the thing in that room. But it says there's something else in this room now. Ah, uh, yeah. That spot. What? That should totally work. We could do this from the other side. Mm -hmm. I did just say, right? That's interesting, but probably not helpful. <laughs> okay, well, I like tried, but like. come from? Oh my god! Oh wait, no, okay, it's fine. You gotta catch this, Peter. Still a lot of Peters to go. Someday somebody fuses my DNA with an alpaca. That'd be pretty cool. Let's take a look at this. Okay, restore the ice blocks, so I mean, that's, that's good. Cool. Ah, ice Peter doesn't slip. <laughs> But he still has lots of air movement, so I should be careful about what I'm doing. 
What? Where's this Peter coming from? A source of unlimited Peters? Question mark? No way. I think I may have found a source of unlimited computers. For a second, he might be immune to icicles, which would be a good trait, too. Turns out Ice King Peter is not immune to icicles. Disappointing. That's surprising that doesn't work, because, um,. Last attempt at this. Oh. Oh. That's another Peter. Peter data. Unlimited Peter shoots lightning. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was just like that. There we go. Okay. There's still a hidden thing in that room somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. That really spits uh, downwards. We don't get to spit up. But that's pretty good. Also, what was our data we got? He bat! A silly little guy considered a fluke by Vaughn, probably due to being weak and silly looking. In fact, Vaughn was bothered by the creation of Peabat that was so bothered by the creation of Peabad that he nearly gave up on his cloning experiments. Peabad is a non-avian Peter, uh, and the first with the ability to fly. His bite and headbutt moves can hurt, but most Peters can outrange and outcombo him. He's pretty funny looking though. He's a good, pretty good bat. So many Peters. Thinking on it, if your DNA is crossed with an alpaca, wouldn't you just wind up uh, with a serval? Maybe. Uh, I just want, I just want the, the luck, I want to live the dream of having a really long neck, clearly. What if we go this way? This. There we go. Hmm, I don't know if they're really gummy anything now. It was already pretty long. Yeah, it's kind of funny because, like... Like, I think the fact that, like... Like, I'm really long in, like, the torso, though, which is kind of funny because, like, I think it gives people, when they see photos of me, like, the impression that, like, I'm really tall, 
for some reason. But I'm not very tall either. I'm just I'm just long in the body. King Peter's dead. Rip. Yeah, I see. Hmm. I don't think this is the way to go. I think we're supposed to go back the other way. I'm going back the other way. This is this is a safe point here. That's also a safe point. I wish they dif differentiate safe points from like other things. That would be helpful. So if I go down here, just keep going downwards. I will get out of here. You have to go up. I don't know. Around maybe? It's not a safe point. Yeah, so I go down this way. It says there's a thing in this room too, but I don't see anything. There's some ice on the floor if you uncover the drop down. What? I think we're out anyways. Got another coin, 17 coins. Oh, this is this is the room with a uh, snail. It's a snail Peter room. Okay. Just gotta be slow and steady with this. Okay, that's one Peter down. Gotta make sure not to get grabbed. Can't get got. Oh, whoa! Shit! Oh god! It's all going sideways! Whoa! Ah, oh, there we go. That's one way to die. There's so many Peters in that room, though. And we gotta get them all. Ah, no Peters left behind. Go. Oh, we can throw ice below us, this Ice King Peter. There we go. Yeah, just, just spin them all that way. That's a good idea. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, don't get hit. Don't get got. I'm gonna do it. We did it! We destroyed a room full of snails! Let's get out of here. Hell yeah. The snail room has been defeated. We also got information about Snail Peter. Pea Snail! Uh, the result of excess liquid Peter. Um, all of its bone tissue is part of its nearly indestructible shell, which completely re uh, negates low damage attacks. It's usually found guarding and rarely attacks unless provoked or scared. It'll try to block parry, direct attacks, then counter grab you. It's the best to try it's best to try and grab them instead. That makes sense. It checks out. Okay. So that was that's one thing. And I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Oh, whoa! It's Long Peter again. Ugh. 
low. There. Oh, nice. Right in. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. I'm just curious if we go back a little bit. any kind of electrical, Peter. Mm, we need electrical, Peter. Go. Oh my god. Two of them. How you doing? How's the game going? It's going good. I heard. I heard the sound of Peter. Oh, it's this room again. Yeah. Multi Peter kill. Room. Whoa! Ah, uh. oh, intense platforming room. What if I just went up and just didn't? Uh, uh, fuck. Hard to control. So why are we collecting Peters? Because we got a chill and grill. Oh. oh no. Actually, could I just go from here and get up there? I think I probably could. I probably absolutely can. Ah. Area 51 abducted us and they're using our DNA to make more Peters and... Uh... Oh, oh man, those drag you. It's mean. I wonder if I could freeze them with this. You can freeze them with that. And also have that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Computers unethically. Imagine a world with no grilling. Yeah, really. Unethical Peter production. Fucked up. Whoa! No! 
<laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna get up there. And there's gonna be something amazing up there, I can tell. This is definitely like meant to be like a challenge section now. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Whoa. Man, those things are really... They do a fair amount of damage. Worse, they trained computers on Peter to make a large Peter model. No! Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, shit. Snail fight that we missed. Oh my god, the snail flipped away from us. Ah! Snail command grab. Oh, wow. Fucking parried us. Oh my god, the snail might fucking do us in. There. What? <laughs> Peter acquired. Mm. Ah, this is back here. Aw, oh, missile room. This is a whole and this is a really big section. It's so early too. Huh. Yeah, level 100 snail main over here, right? Three discs required to boot. Oh my goodness! I've been collecting discs the whole time. I forgot about those. Back down to the lab. The lab where they were creating Peters. Just gonna go back and check for a second. Since we're here right now, anyways. Oh, we could probably do something with this, because I couldn't do anything before. Hmm. I gotta let this go, though, because I'm. We need to, we need to get some... Oh, that worked actually really well. What would be the best Peter move to utilize? Oh, that's actually ground. Yeah, what did, what did I expect? Hmm. Oh, this is just back to the jail we started in. I thought it was gonna be something fancy. Shit, I just went backwards. That's not special. It is saying there is something hidden in here, but I guess that's maybe just a save point. In the very next room. Save point? Yeah, it is. Okay. Never mind. Oh, we did get a coin, though, for it. That's weird that we didn't get that the first time. I don't know what the coins even do, though. This way. Oh! <gasps> if we get the four elemental Peters, we can open the door. Oh, I gotta remember that. Mm. I wonder what the fourth elemental Peter is gonna be. We have wind, fire, and ice. I bet it's gonna be like snail. Snail seems pretty good, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, it's electric. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's electric heater. Oh my goodness. Damn, I missed all these rooms back near the beginning. Gotcha. 
skunked. Another snail eater. Whoa, a parry. Even the ice doesn't work on the snail. Well, whatever. Get wrecked! <laughs> oh. Oh, I bet this is the electrical zone where you get electric heater. That would make sense. All the fire peters and ice peters, when is it going to be uh, grilling peters time, right? <laughs> You've done this to yourself! There. There. Okay, 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 okay. Time to save for reals. I was very, very... We're halfway through the game! Maybe I should do the tutorial. Oh. What's over here? Locked. Oh, many things to unlock. Credits, achievements, Peter Brawl. Gotcha, Peter. Yo! That's what you do with the coins! Yo! New Peter in versus mode! Aww. We're gonna unlock the, all the Peters. New Peter in per versus mode! It's like Chrome Peter. I'll have to try myself one day. Oh, another new Peter. Peter gotcha. Evol! Oh, I bet that's Electric Peter. Aw oh, man, this might be spoilers though, I should probably not. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool though. Peter Brawl. Human CPUs. Bug. Bug will be... Let's see. Oh yeah, look at all the Peters. There's so many Peters to unlock. Uh, we could be Crow Peter. So many Peters. And achievements. We've done nothing! Sync those achievements. Actually, Trespasher says that too, where you can, like, force it to sync your achievements. Which is kind of an interesting thing. I think I feel like more games should have stuff like that. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. There's some. You are Peter Shorts. We were Peter Shorts together. Mm. I hope y'all enjoyed some Peter Shorts. Mm. Mm. We accomplished absolutely nothing that run. No, we hit the 50% mark as far as like the game goes, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, one day we'll grow up, uh, grow up to Peter Pants, maybe. Yeah, but we have a lot of like grilling before then. Anyway, so sequel, Peter Talls. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, take a quick break, and when we get back, we're gonna play some Super Mario Bros. 3, we're gonna do the rest of the e-reader levels. So, for everyone that hasn't seen the e-reader levels, I definitely recommend um, checking those out, because they are... <laughs> it's like the... 
I guess I can't say it's the most unhinged because like Nintendo did do like original Mario Maker levels too. And those are pretty unhinged by moments. But these stages feel really weird because it combines Super Mario Bros. 2, 3, and World. So it's pretty interesting. It's a paradox because Peter Pants will never grow up. Huh. Huh. Right. Uh, but we do get the cap that is our 16th game of the year. There we go. But, uh, okay. Uh, it's also elements from Yoshi's Island as well. True, true. Yeah, the main one is those like weird like pinball bumpers. Or like paddles or whatever. I don't remember what those called. They're like paddles, aren't they? Yeah. Anyways, um, but I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, refill my water and all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna just say 12 minutes. And when we get back, we'll do some e-reader stages. We'll do. I'm just debating if we'll do multiverses or not. Um, and then we'll do Zazillions. I don't know. Like, I feel really weird about multiverses. It's, it's like, uh, I feel really weird about multiverses, so I'm, mm, I'll just play my feel. Uh, huh. Alright, so, okay, I will be back in a few minutes, everyone hang tight, and uh, we'll get to those e-reader stages, so, uh, uh, I'll BRB. Enjoy the clip show. Uh, uh. Mm, Jackie win MIA. That's not a good sign. It's three. I guess we'll make our way back. Mm. It's inverted. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I don't know who spawned. Sure if I was studying the brush. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. I'm alive. Fuck. I just realized like I must I have like the most aggressive fucking play style in this when when I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> This is why they don't let me in the walls. He was too strong. Oh, oh, never mind. They can aim at an angle. Okay. Oh, we. I didn't know that. No one knew that. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh Definitely think plants are zombies, yeah. True, that's fair. I did it! Also, did the alien just like make like a Mario woohoo sound when I burst its like container? I feel like it did. That was very strange. I guess it did.
There we go. Nice. Fair enough. Oh, wow. That was pretty close. Oh, my God. That's as scared as I was. Well, that was my effort. Hey! Will you pull off a bullet? No, I can't. I like I've said before. I hate to say it. This is this is back when I was this is back when I was in high school. And I was like, I'm gonna be rebellious and have spike my hair and have a ponytail. Basically, oh my gosh. Panda, thank you for the donation. <laughs> also, Feral, thank you. Oh, he didn't have to donate. Oh gosh, well, thank you. Um, here, just one sec. Just, just, uh. uh why, why did it auto default that? Yeah. Uh, I'm only trying to find a good picture now. I can't find even a good picture. <laughs> there. I sent the message. Sioris, Sioris is now gotta gotta make it happen. It's all Sioris now. Uh, Key, how you doing? Oh. Uh, they're not streaming yet, so it's probably fine. Yes. Well, no, in English sounds so bizarre. He cycles right back. Well, I can't believe we ran into the Smithers on the way back home again. And this is all happening all over again. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So. Yeah, we did it. So that's another clear. Uh, that felt good. That was actually really refreshing to play that. <laughs> oh, come back. Oh, uh, shit. Baskets. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck! Just stand still! <laughs> You're pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta take off the mask because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing it, but... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was, that was just like... I don't want to say it was clutch, but it was pretty, pretty rough at the end. <laughs> I joke, I joke about this. I actually like most of their games, but it's like... It's, it's one of those things that... You have to draw a line somewhere, and that is that Middle Wolf Chaos is their best game. <laughs> <laughs> Fair so, okay, enough. I'll, I'll, stop, I'll stop being a shitty gremlin. Anyways, <laughs> in this picture where I'm a shitty gremlin, look! I'm trying to serve you pizza! <laughs> look! Uh. Okay. Uh, pardon me. Okay. So, yeah. How y'all doing? Sorry about being late tonight. Uh, I woke up and I was... Oh my god, Nikar train! Ah! Look at it! Look at them! Ah! <laughs> my, my earwig, my earwiggles go, like... A premium Nikar train collided with my earwiggles. <laughs> Yeah. Ideal spacing. 
Nico are enjoying the refined content. Let's see. If you have a frame picture key, do you also have a frame picture of me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, just one moment. <laughs> We're in the wall. That's great, but also not. <laughs> I'm like, hey devs, hire me. I'm good at this. <laughs> okay, enough with the weird thoughts. Time to get going. Okay. Like form dives into the fucking lake. I guess it's fair. Uh, any other people we could try? <gasps> I love it. I want one. Oh hi, new kid. It's Vampy. We're, we gotta take Vampy. Vampy's definitely gonna be our teammate. Look at this bait. Where that's where the hotness yeah. is. Everything's a farm sim coming up next. I'm just like, okay. I know this is like like my like conspiracy brain like turning the gears but i'm like are they trying to teach us how to farm why are they trying to teach us how to farm <laughs> which is which is like terrible but it's like i'm just like why <laughs> well no it's it's less that conspiracy and more that uh it's filling a void right now because like everyone wants to escape the capitalist nightmare by like Maybe. Simulating living off the land and on their own merits. I guess. I'm just like, society, is society collapsing? Are they trying to teach us how to farm? Time to go back to the peasant life. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to learn how many chickens you trade for a cow. And I don't like that idea. What's the chicken to cow ratio key? A. I'm moving. I'm almost there. Yeah, that looks like. I think that's good. Yeah, this is me. Hey. Yeah. Hey. We found, we found a thing and it threw Keyed at me and Keyed died. Oh. Yeah. Did you record it? Yeah. Yeah, did you get on film? Yeah, I got it on film. Yeah. How, how, how All right, that's. Yeah. Ah, all right. How much do we have left? Not that Are we out of film? We gotta go. The thing's right behind you, Jackie. You gotta go. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Jeez, I got caught on the like wall or something. That was weird. Yeah. Is it binding of Isaac reference? Yes. I don't think there's any other way it could I don't think it could be anything else. It was literally Isaac's head. Isaac's Oh my god. <laughs> don't judge me. My my uh, Nova Scotia came out. <laughs> really, really loud. Really loud and clear on when I said Isaac. Uh. I have five hours experience. But there we go. Will this now be two potatoes? <laughs> We're doing science. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, oh, now my tongs can't grab it. Nobody will know. Nobody could possibly count the. That knife is fine. How do how do I do this? How? 
I wouldn't do that with a spatula. That's stupid. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna see if it works. If it does, this is genius. Holy fuck! It's still a four-star dish! Tell me your complaints. The complaints were that there just wasn't enough salt. <laughs> hmm, they said something about there being a secret in this room, but... Nah. All that time? That's bullshit. Bullshit. Deserve a chunks medal every time. <laughs> bats! My oh, bats are cute though. Uh, the hamsters of the sky. We also flashbanged. Because they're flying at me. So that's that's reasonable. Flying at me is actually, the more I think about it, it's like, that's a thing I say a lot. Mm. And I use All it right. as, I use it as justification for a lot of things. Mm. All right. Yes. Um, there we go. All right, I'm back. How y'all doing? How is everybody doing tonight? I know sometimes when I play a game, I get like really focused. Hey, Rain Dog. I get really focused on what I'm doing, and then I, you know, I feel like I haven't been as chatty as I should be. Uh. There we go. Oh, my fire safety helmet. Good idea. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rain Dog. That's a good idea for these stages. Hello. Hey, cat. Uh. I've been doing the working. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm trying to think of what all has been on the go today. Oh yeah, I guess like the big news is that uh, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Thank you. Oh, hey Aria. Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, Trump found guilty on all charges. All 34 charges. That's that's satisfying. I know that, like... It's hard to say how that's gonna actually shake out, because I guess, like, the sentencing isn't until, like, July. But, like... It's it's nice to have, like, some progress on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just feels like it's taking forever. It's like everybody's just kind of sitting in the room, waiting for it to finish up and happen. Yeah. Those 34 charges gold plated. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna see one minute of jail time, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. That's like the, that's like the thing when what it comes down to. <sighs> you know, like something that like I think about a lot. Um, and not to get like talk about like politics that much, but it's like um, something I think about a lot is. This idea that it's like, who who made these rules? Because these are it's fucking dumb. <laughs> like, like he should go to jail for this, right? Like, everyone knows the system isn't designed to punish people like him. Yeah, I know. But it should be. And it's like, you can still run for president even with all those charges on you? That doesn't seem like right. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, rich folk uh, who made the system work for them. Ugh. Uh, like, the thing is, is it's like, I th what I always think back to is I think about this uh, video I watched ages ago, and I don't know how, like, how much this is, because I don't know much about tennis, but it talks about the idea that, um, I guess, like, in, um, like, in tennis, there, in professional tennis, there's been moments where it's like, because of the way the bracket system in tennis works, um, it benefits you to lose. And it was this whole video discussing about uh, the idea that it's like, if the rules 
are made in such a way that it benefits you to not play the game or to, you know, actively lose. That's not a very good rule set, right? Like, yeah. Favorable pairings, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Um, like, and it, when I think about that, like, I think about, like, it in the context of, like, politics, because it's, like, these things seem, like, really obvious that it's, like, this shouldn't work this way. <laughs> like, like, it, it just shouldn't work this way. So, it's, it's, it's a weird one. Uh, like, if you, if you're, like, pursuing political power to get yourself out of, like, legal issues, like, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> like, that's, it shouldn't work that way. There's no good exemption of good game design. There's no, uh, expectation of, uh, good game design in politics. Yeah, I know. I know it's like kind of a little bit of an apples and oranges kind of thing, but but it is like, you know, you think about like the system and the rules and the way things are like made and you'd think that like people would like look at it and say, well, these the rules don't work very well in this way. We should change them. But I know that the way politics kind of work, especially in the US, is it's more more about like Trying to change the rules to benefit you this is more like pulling jokers and balatro than it is like uh making brackets and fighting games <laughs> unfortunately uh the system was made by a bunch of people overthrowing the british government which itself was a crime mm. Mm. Uh, the system was made by a bunch of people that would have been criminals themselves. Yeah, but that's not important, obviously, in that instance. Mm. Mm. Raise hands. I got a humdinger of a political thingy. Because, like... I mean... <sighs> I believe every politician that participates in lobbying should uh, get a very bad day. Uh, bad day. Fuck capitalism. Agreed. Like... Lobbying, lobbying is something that they really need to crack down on, because that's, that's, like, it's clearly, like, a big factor in what fucks everything up. Uh, like, makes a mess of kind of everything. Good thing I have my fire safety helmet on right now. Uh, but, it's just, like, yeah, I don't know. From, like, from, like, a game design standpoint, it's, like, the political system seems really stupid. What's that voting system that, uh, is it Australia that uses it? Where it's, um, what is it called? Um, something choice voting. Yeah. Uh, rank choice voting. Yeah. Like, that seems really good, right? And it would make more sense to have something like that, right? I'm thinking more for Canadian politics, right? right now but that seems like something to do but yeah I don't know like I don't know I don't know how like how these things like gain traction to change you know what I mean because like if the system is benefiting a certain party they won't want to change it right uh, lobbying is hilarious it's so transparent uh, leave bribery nobody's interested in fixing it because the people who would fix it are the ones who are getting the bribes yeah yeah it's like, uh, like it's bribery in the same way that like Disgaea bribery works. <laughs> and it's like, that's not good when like Disgaea, like Disgaea is meant to be like a fucking parody and it's just, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> I think voting would be a lot more important in Canada than the US. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. We don't quite have a two party uh, duopoly. Duopoly. Kind of like that word. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, like, musing, I guess, over this. It's just the notion that, like, uh, that, it, that it's, like, you know, you can be charged with all these, like, Trump can be charged with all these things, and, you know, uh, and, uh, get sentenced, and it, it ultimately doesn't change anything. It doesn't affect his 
uh, it probably will not, like, affect his, like, political career other than maybe voting numbers. And I feel like that's just gonna, like, um, like, rile up his base to, like, be even more entrenched in, in, like, voting. People that were already gonna vote for him are really gonna be, like, about voting for him now. Which isn't gonna, it doesn't really change much, I guess. But it's just weird to think about, you know? Uh, the fact that it's just, like... This can all happen. Every everybody knows it's a fucking like problem, and it's just like the system just like lets it happen. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah, apparently, today in Texas, a Republican uh, oh that moved uh, and won a primary runoff. And the GOP still blames Democrats for rigging it. Trump never won the popular vote. Yeah, no, he didn't. Uh, the problem is, not only will he see no consequences, but everyone knows he won't see any consequences. There's zero faith in the legal system. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's just really... I don't know, it's, like, discouraging. Like, I'm glad that we, I'm found guilty on all charges. So, like, that's really good. It's good that it's, like, recognizable. It's, it's, like... Like, you know what I mean? I guess, I guess it's good that it's getting recognized, but it, then it's just, like, immediately followed by just an immediate feeling of just, like, bottoming out of, well, he's not gonna, it doesn't mean anything. It literally means nothing, so. Huh. <sighs> Frustrating. Mm. <laughs> uh, ew, frustrating. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Hmm. Well, hmm. I guess it, I guess, yeah. Uh, like, hopefully, hopefully someday things will change and things will be better. Uh, just, it's just frustrating, I guess. I just kind of, I just want to like, I just kind of want to like lay here and just be like, ugh. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey Jamie, how you doing? Uh. <sighs> but yeah, it's it's like such a weird mixture of just like hooray! Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> Tight arm, my tight arm, I sleep. I have no idea what that means. Your typing arm is asleep, I assume. Alright, you know what? Anyways. Musings aside, let's get into let's get into something we can do something about, which is get our third mastery in Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, 